everyone, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for another PB&J card class as part of our series of 12 Days of Christmas Card Making Stash Busting Sketches. This is number 11. So before we start, in case this is your first time checking out one of these stash busting videos, I consider stash to be products you already own, use, and love, products you've purchased but you haven't used yet, and products you purchase after watching them used and you want to be sure that you actually use them. And stash busting to me is breaking through any barriers to using your stash so you can really enjoy your supplies and enjoy your hobby. And sketches can help you do this because they give you a starting off point. They limit your choices, which for me is a good thing, helps with decision fatigue. And sketches provide structure and they give a home for those items that you have in your stash that you've purchased and you want to use and enjoy. So when I am doing stash busting, I have two photo boxes. One I call my sketch box, where I use the sketches that I've been giving you throughout these series. And I prep each sketch about enough to make three or four cards with the sketch. I put all those prep pieces in an envelope. Then I also have a stash box, and this is where I pull the stash that I want to use. So I'm making Christmas cards, so I am pulling stamps, dies, stencils, stick and shine, foiling, masterpieces made simple, everything and putting it in the stash box so I can shop from here when I'm making my cards. I have new designs and older designs. So for today's video, here is the sketch that we are using. This is a really fun one for the holidays. You get to design your own ornament. So this sketch will let you have lots of flexibility with what you put on your ornament, but it gives you sort of that structure for how to get that onto the card in a finished and fun way. So this is what I've pulled from my sketch box. These are the sort of pre-prepared elements. I've die cut and trimmed everything down using penny black dies from Canson 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. You can see I have my ornaments, I have my ribbons that are part of those die cuts. I have the antique frame that is sort of that background um, frame piece and then my card panels. All of these cards are standard size cards, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And all of that was there in my envelope inside of that sketch box. Then I'm gonna go through pulling from my stash box anything that I think I wanna use and that can fit on these ornaments. So you'll see, here's a stamp that I used in another video. You can do some repeats, but they look totally different, used in a different way. I think this is the third time I'm using that poinsettia because I'm in love with it. <laughs> and this Penny Black stamp, this is called, let me just look here for the name of this one cheery and this fits perfectly on the ornament so if you love this idea of the ornament design that one is designed to fit perfectly on the penny black die cut so I went ahead and stamped all of my ornament pieces and also that bell as a variation using memento toffee crunch ink so I'm working assembly line style I had my pieces already die cut and ready then I do all of my stamping and that will be ready for me to do my painting now all of the penny black stamps and dies and products that I'm using in this video today will be listed and linked for you down in the YouTube description box below I am also going to list for you all of the supplies that I'm using so if you want to know paint colors ink colors paper information brush information that is all listed for you down in that description box below and while I'm telling you all the things down in that box below. I'm also going to link for you a video of frequently asked questions and that kind of walks you through my painting process a little bit slower than I had time to show you here in this video. So if you want to see that in more detail and with a lot more instruction, I'll link that video for you too. I press that Toffee Crunch ink pad onto an acrylic block and I use that to paint on first sort of this background and I focused it primarily on where these sort of flourishes are on this beautiful beautiful stamp. This stamp is like a sleeper <laughs> so when you see it in the packaging at least for me I thought oh that's interesting but once I stamped it I was in love with this. I love it on the ornament and I also think it would be neat repeated like subtly tone on tone for a background as well. 
So anyways, I painted that Toffee Crunch ink. That's the same color as what I stamped with. I love that for background painting because it's not too yellow. Then I'm using Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors to paint the rest of this image. As you can see, I was not trying to paint everything perfectly. So some of that evergreen bow ink color blended outside of those, let's call them leaves. I was okay with that. What I'm doing now, once it's dry, is going over and adding a little bit of forest moss distress reinker just to sort of add some of that detail in there. But I'm not going super slow. I know this looks detailed, but the detail is actually the part of the illustration that makes it so you can paint it quickly and without doing a lot of shading and it will still look really pretty. So I finished those up and then I went in and I'm just using some reds here and I love these sort of classic Christmas colors, the reds and the greens with kind of that turquoise in there. I'm putting down the darker color on the areas that are kind of folded behind another petal and then I blend that out using uh, just water on my brush. So you can see there that straight ink from the palette. Then I rinse off my brush, dab it on a paper towel and then blend that out with water. Now if you didn't want to add these ornament pieces to a card, you could also cut a second round piece, uh, score it about an inch from the top or so, put adhesive, glue, or double-sided tape just above that score line and put it right on the ornament that you're painting and then you would have a shaped card that's shaped like an ornament. If you didn't want to stamp on the ornaments, you could also use them to die cut your picture. If you wanted to do a photo card, a family photo card, you could also use this ornament design in this sketch to do that as well. So lots of different variations that you can do with this. And if you wanted to use this sketch for a non-holiday card, you could stamp anything that you wanted onto the circular element and I would just not add sort of the hanging or the bow portions at the top and just use it as a circular focal point on your card. Here I just have that toffee crunch memento ink pressed onto the acrylic block and I am just adding a little bit of a splattering so mixing it with water and sort of tapping that paintbrush onto my finger to splatter some of that. And then I will also, once this is completely dry, using an ink blending tool and a foam pad, just add a little bit of that Toffee Crunch ink around the outside. So here are all of those ornaments once they were stamped and painted. As you can see, this is a great way to do some stash busting with your holiday images. And then also a bell, because I just wanted to show you, you can use this sketch with other large die cut images. Now this is that antique frame die cut piece that is sort of behind the ornament. I am painting that with just a little bit of that Memento Toffee Crunch ink. And then I'm going to stamp our music background very lightly onto the back. So I'm using antique linen, so it's just very, very light. So I like to start light and I have to do a couple impressions, then I can darken it up as I go. And then I will use that toffee crunch again to add a little ink blending around the outer edges starting off of the edge and working my way on in a circular motion. You notice I didn't do any stamping up at the top because that is going to be covered up. So using um, the antique frame, I die cut that and then I ran it through with our embossing folder. So if you didn't know, Penny Black is now making embossing folders that have their beautiful classic designs on them. So what I love to do with them is just to emboss and then ink blend over the top and you get that beautiful texture. This one is called variegated. Here is another that is called geometric. And these designs, they work for Christmas, but they can work any time of year. So they're really versatile addition to your stash, something that you can reach for again and again. If you've been watching all of these stash busting videos, you'll know that this is, isn't the first time that I've been using these on cards. They're really, really, really handy and fun. This one is called Dashed Design. And again, I'm just ink blending on top using an ink applicator tool with a foam pad and some Distress Ink.
Here I used a couple of colors just for some variation. There you can see how much that adds to that design. So I'm going to put that top portion, that embossed portion on using some foam adhesive. I'm also going to put like a little seam along here. It's just white cardstock, just um, scratch that's left over. And so I just trimmed it into a little piece and then I will glue that on and then trim off the excess. You wouldn't definitely wouldn't have to pop up these elements on foam tape if you didn't want to. It would still look really pretty if you didn't. I just like that little extra bit of dimension. This is the top for the ornament. That's part of that jumbo bobble die set that I used for these cards. And this bow is also part of that die set. And I use this bow for a lot of different things. It's really great with flowers, like holding them together as an embellishment on cards. It's, I use, have used this many times, just the bow. <laughs> now I'm going to add my sentiment. So I'm just inking that with Ranger Archival Ink in the color of Acorn. I really like this as like a dark sentiment, but not stark black. And I'm ready to add this onto the card. So I put foam tape along the bottom and then just liquid adhesive at the top. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of twine through there and wrap it around to the back and tape it down. And I can grab my bow. Play around with the best place to put that. There we go. And then I just put that onto my standard size card base and I also added a little pearl up at the top. I'll give you a look here at all of the cards. All of these ornaments that you can do when you want to design an ornament. Don't be afraid to use larger images like this and stamp it off the edge of the ornament. That can have a really dynamic look. I love that bird wreath on there. It fits really beautifully. And then of course the bell. So using that same sketch design but using an alternative for that focal point image. What is your favorite? I'd love to know. Leave me a comment down in the YouTube description box below. I'm also going to pop up the sketch again here on the screen and give you another look at each of those cards. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, as well as our website and blog, and you'll find lots of ideas at all of those places. And I'll link all of those for you down in the YouTube description box below as well. Thanks for watching and happy stamping! Thank you.